Hi everyone, this is Majid, Digital Creation Specialist at Peer Returns Library and today we are going to design a 3D flower. This is spring and this is the best time to do that. As you probably remember, we use Tinkercad for Tinkercad circuits. So similar to circuits, uh, we are going to start a new project with create, click on create new design and you see uh, your work plane. Uh, first of all, I go and change the name of the project. And uh, here on the right side, we have uh, shape generators. By default is on basic shapes. So for today, I'm using a cylinder. This is a drag and drop uh, software. I have access to these black or white uh, squares. So by each black square, I can resize on one side and with any white square, I can resize on two sides. So for today, I need something not very big, something, let's see, just wanted to make a flower paddle with that so I'm changing the the height of that cylinder to three and let's see what is the size of this here yeah probably a little bit smaller yeah something like that I think that's enough that's good enough yeah so just to make a kind of pattern on that I'm using a sphere bring in a sphere again this is a drag and drop designing bring in a sphere here and put it on one side of that cylinder to make sure that they are perfectly aligned I'm keeping shift key down and select the cylinder so now I selected both sphere and cylinder so after uh, selecting more than one object there are some features uh, features available including this align tool so I click on that and you see there are some black dots you can play with them to change the location of the sphere on the cylinder for example if you hover around this you will see the cylinder is aligned in the left side with this one in the middle but I wanted to put it on the right side so I click on this black and you see the turn to great that means they are aligned from this side and then click let's see click on this black to bring them exactly in the middle in the middle from this side so these two shapes are aligned from the left side sorry right side and in the middle side so now I deselect and then select only the sphere and among these two options I click on hole so what's happening now I have a sphere of nothing this is a hole this is this is happening only on the computer we cannot make such a thing in the real world a uh, sphere of nothing but on the screen we can make such a things we have a sphere of nothing so I'm going to select these two again with uh, shift key down click on cylinder and using another feature here group so see what's happening after I'm clicking on this and you see that a sphere of nothing will remove part of the, the cylinder 
Now I'm going to make a copy of this. So there are different ways. I can use Ctrl C, Ctrl V uh, of these objects, or I can use these features here for making copy and then paste it, or I can use Ctrl D to duplicate a shape. And you didn't see anything because the duplicated part is on the top of the first one. But if you use your mouse to move it, you will see there are two shapes. So I want to rotate this object to put these two area close to each other. So again, there are different uh, options you can use, for example, using this curved arrows to rotate the object we will use it very soon for another purposes or because it's a 180 degrees rotation the easiest way is using this flip or mirror uh, feature so if you click on that uh, the software shows you on which angles you can flip the object so I'm using this one because with using that these two parts are going to uh, close to each other so just move a little bit to bring them closer yeah it seems that they're good so again I'm selecting both and using line tool to make sure that they are exactly aligned in the middle and then group them together I'm going to use duplicate key again so control D so I have the second object on the top of the first object but without unselecting the object I mean clicking anywhere I didn't click anywhere I'm using this arrow keys to rotate the second object so it using this the only on the second object will be rotating in um, for example 22 and a half degrees that's the best degree for our purposes so now if I click control D I mean duplicate again and again see what's happening oh yeah it's wonderful yes yes that's the magic of using uh, control D because control with control D the pattern you created will be saved in the memory of the software just remember that to make it easy to to move these parts it's better to select all of them so control a for selecting all and then group them together then you have only one shape and now you can do everything you want for example probably you wanted to rotate them from this angle 90 degree and then bring them up and then continue designing I mean add a part and the other part of the flower leaves is it done wonderful this is the best time to share it on social medias remember to use hashtag vpl at home see you soon